I'm currently outside on my balcony, I guess. We uh, got a new hotel room because the hotel we were staying at, uh, my mouth is like, has stuff all around it. I'll tell you why in a second. I just want to get you caught up <laughs> to pace with everything. Because um, our hotel wasn't very nice. So we just, we got, uh, staying at a new hotel and this is the view we get from our porch and I'm like I don't want to go home because when I go home I'm just going to be working so I'm like yeah I don't I don't really want to want to leave so VidCon is over it ended last night and I'm so sad because I had such a good time meeting everyone went to VidCon got some cupcakes from the cupcake food truck and oh my god they were so good like best cupcakes you'll ever have we walked around a little bit um what did we do there was something that i wanted to do oh yeah i had a meet and greet with charlie mcdonald insert picture here it was really awkward like he wasn't cut he was yeah he was pretty awkward it was really funny though uh and he was really nice and so then I went out to dinner with my friend Nicole and her friend Emma, who's now my friend too. Like, like, yeah, mutual friends, you know. Shout it to Nicole, cause you know they made this a lot of fun for me. Like the trip, having them was really nice and meeting them. Um, so thank you guys. Uh, so we went to the Cheesecake Factory and we saw Sarah there again, and I didn't want like. And Callum, of course. So then we just went up and said hi to them because they were they're obviously really tired because Sarah had sung at a panel and so I didn't get a picture or anything so I already have one. But it was just really nice to see her and so we had dinner, I got a veggie burger, any doesn't matter. Then we went to the Twix prom and that was a lot of fun. Um I didn't take any videos because Nicole's mom had my phone the whole time. Uh, so I'll, I, I found some on Twitter, so I'll just insert them here. my bedtime and then I woke up this morning and VidCon was over oh, oh wait so we're going to my room I walk in I'm like exhausted literally I had just been partying for two hours straight no like two and a half hours straight dancing and my feet hurt because we walked like six miles yesterday and I'm in my bed and then my mom goes, oh, look, and there's a cockroach like this big on the climbing up the wall. It was like three inches. So then we ran out of a room. I didn't even have shoes on. And we got a new room for the second time. That's the second time we had to transfer rooms. And I was exhausted. I just wanted to go to bed. So we had to take all of our stuff out of the room and go to a new room. And then I was up until 2, of course, because I was like, is the cockroach going to climb through the vent? Because it was gone when we came back. So we're thinking it climbed through one of the vents in the, uh, in the room. <laughs> and is in someone else's room, which is, like, ugh, that's just not good. <sighs> so we woke up and, um... We went out to breakfast, but when we were going down, 
Um, Nicole was leaving. We sat with them and then wished them well off. And then they left and it was really sad. And then it made me realize that like, I'm just here alone. Of course with my mom, but it's like, VidCon's over, everything's over. Of course they're going to Disney, but I went to Disney Thursday. City life, you know? All these sounds. Oh, I hate buses so much. I hate trucks. Trigger warning, trigger warning, trigger warning. Only some people get that reference. Like one. Nicole. So we went to Disney on Thursday. I don't even remember if I got, oh yeah, I got some clips from that. It's, but I'm just really sad that it's over because I had such a good time meeting all of these people that I just walk up to. And as I said before, I get to go back home and work. I've, all I've been doing today is watching YouTube. Literally, I was like, oh God, it's our last day in California. Do something fun. No, <laughs> let's just sit inside a hotel room, do nothing. But we did, getting to why there's like orange all around my mouth. Um, I was like, I wonder if you can get any food delivered to you. Cause I don't want to walk out around California. Cause why would you want like too many loud noise trucks without trigger warnings? <laughs> we found Indian food and had them deliver it and we were like all right so they're gonna go to the lobby and we'll go and pick it up and they said like okay it's gonna be like an hour they came like 20 minutes early to our hotel room and delivered the food and it was like what that's so cool so i had indian food um not a paneer if you're wondering it was it was pretty good it wasn't the best but it was you know it was edible so that's good and so now I'm here and I'm just like, I don't know, I could go to the pool, but I don't really want to go. I'm feeling kind of antisocial, but the view is just so nice, like, and it's a little breezy out, it's such a nice day, but VidCon's over, but I am going next year, so hopefully by then I might actually have like a small group of followers at that that would be cool. Hope you enjoyed my little VidCon experience following me around to my first VidCon ever. And according to YouTube, I would definitely, re like, it's super expensive. But if you really enjoy YouTube, I would definitely say it's something you should go to if you want to make YouTube videos and if you're like, Starting off making YouTube videos, get a creator pass when you go, so you can go to the um, the presentations on it, the keynotes, which is what we're going to do next year. But if you're like just going to meet people, like meet your favorite people, I, I wouldn't recommend it because it's like it's a lot of money just to go meet them. I don't know, which is why we went. But I feel like if you're gonna go to VidCon, at least try and make YouTube videos. I'm wearing my VidCon shirt. Yo! And my VidCon bracelet. Yo! Oh. Eh, eh, eh. Here we go. Hey! Sick. I'm tired and we have to go home tomorrow. I don't know what I'll be doing. I'll probably just be watching YouTube all day until I go to bed and then I'll wake up and we have to go. And we have a flight connection in Houston and we have to stay in Houston for like three hours. <laughs> Mm, I don't want to stay there. I love you guys. <laughs> Just have. Just, I hope you have a really nice day. And to all my friends, have a nice summer. See you at the beginning of the year. Fall.
2021, but it all started in 2017. Well, actually, 2016, when warnings about climate change reached a fever pitch, but we chose to ignore them. I remember sitting in freshman biology watching a nature documentary when an attractive old guy mentioned global warming and said bad things would happen. My friend Marmalade... <laughs> Let me